Hi there, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, let's create a simple table. So I will go over here in my sheet and let me create a new sheet because uh, we have been doing a lot with the existing sheet. So I will say um, sales two or maybe sales analysis, whatever I need. Um, and here I have my different sheet. So let me add a table over here and over here it is asking me to add a dimension so let me add customer segment let's say very simple one and uh, let me add the measure uh, so as you could observe if i press on the column it is either asking me to enter a dimension or the measure value so let me add, a, add the measure and let me add the sum of sales for the sake of simplicity and here is my very simple table if i click on done this is this is my very simple table total is coming on the top uh, down there you have the different segments now let's say i want to add the dimension and i want to say that uh, related to customer so only two values are there so let me add the product um subcategory and uh, as you can see it is coming at the end but let me drag it up here so now uh, for each of the customer segment i have their respective for product category so if i click on done uh, this is how my table will look like i can scroll up and down based on my need and clearly see for each of the customer segment how my product subcategory is doing but if you want you can even have the product subcategory up here and uh, clearly see for each of this uh, product subcategory the respective segment and uh, how how they are doing so basically i want to say that you can play around with this and uh, get the idea about how you want to uh, set your fields now let's add another mesh in this since we are here so we will add profit and let's add the average of profit and uh, it has been added it's just that i need to drag right so it's showing us the average profit doesn't look good so let me change it to sum right so now i am here and done and i can see both the sum of profit and sum of sales along with the product of category and customer segment so this is how you can keep on adding the values based on what you need is the dimension or the measure and it will start showing you the values uh, into the simple table and uh, there are a lot of features that you get so for example if i expand this um, you get the limitation suppose you want to show the top 10 values uh, of the customer segment you don't want to include the null values all of those kind of things as well as show column only if so something based on some condition you want to have you want to have some background color condition you have to have some text color for conditional coloring all that you can have it uh, within this this particular field similarly if i go into the appearance so i can choose whether i want the totals uh, over here or not uh, so totals has been disabled disabled and now whether i want on top or bottom i can i can choose based on my need and i want to freeze the first column all of these things are pretty intuitive in the nature and as you disable it all of these things get displayed and uh, you can basically uh, experiment with it to make your table more meaningful so one last thing is uh, sum of sales and sum of profit uh, how you can change it well very simple you need to go into the respective uh, uh, this uh, well these uh, uh, labels uh, where wherever this is. so some of uh, sales and over here some of profit you can you can change the label and to change the label over here you need to just unlink it because it is a part of the master item once you unlink it you can change the label as per your needs so that's about how you can create a very simple table and apply a different kind of settings into the uh, simple table and make it more meaningful for your users.